Good day, folks. Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. We're basically going to do a little lab work together. I want to show the impacts of having a broadcast storm or a lot of broadcast packets flying around the network and how, in this case, how it affects uh, performance. Now, we're going to use iPerf3 for this. So I've got iPerf running on a machine in the lab here, and I'm on my machine here. I'm going to run a baseline right now. So there's iPerf3 dash C means client, blue is the other machine. And we're going to just see what these numbers look like. The default time for iPerf3 is going to be 10 seconds. So you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10. And you can see 837 is our baseline. Normally, I would do five of these. Drop the low, drop the high, average three. This is good enough, just, just so you know what I'm doing. I'm going to redo this test. But the difference is I'm going to start this, but then I'm going to generate packets in the background. So what am I generating? So I'm using my OptiView. And the driving generator is an all-device broadcast packet, not a multicast, not a destination. There's a broadcast, all Fs. And what am I sending? Just some IP benign packet. The key here is I have a 254-byte frame size, 250, 250-ish. The rate works out to be 49,991 of these packets per second if I transmit at 10.5%. So as you change this, everything else changes because it's just basic, simple math, right? But we're going to stick with 10%. Why? Because I had a few examples where I check people's network. They have about 10% utilization on the segment. They say that's not a concern. I ask them, is that 10% broadcast, multicast, unicast? What is that? And when they usually respond with, who cares? What difference does it make? Then I go into this conversation. So this is what I want to show you is what I verbally tell them. So I'm going to send out a million of these packets, which works out to be 20.8 seconds. So iPerf is a 10 second test. This is a 20 second test. So I'm going to start iPerf first. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to start traffic and go. And I go back here. You'll see the impact of that traffic. 823, 822, 600, 600, 600, 600. So mid to high 600s and it was mid 800s before. So approximately, I don't know, 180, 180 megabits per second. If you really want to be generous, say 200. 180-ish, so to speak, is uh, quite the drop in performance. So there you go. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is I'm going to bring up Perfmon, which I talk a lot about in my presentations and classes when, when we did those. And you can see here I'm graphing my interrupts per second and the processor time within Windows. So this is called Performance Monitor within Windows, and this is what I'm graphing. So you can see right now my interrupts per second are cruising at about 9,000, 8,800, 8,200, 8,300, I'm sorry, 1,000, 9,300, 8,600, that kind of thing. So, oh, there's a 10, right? So 9, 10, that kind of thing, okay? Now I'm going to generate my traffic, and I want to see how far off this baseline I come off of. So again, I'm going to come back here. I'm not going to generate traffic. I, I mean, sorry, I'm not going to run iPerf, pardon me. I'm going to just generate traffic. Proceed. And we'll see what happens to our, see, it looks like a flat line like before, but that's the scales kind of messed up, right? So come down here. Before we were cruising just under 10, now we're at 32,000 interrupts per second, right? So this, this to me is more of an issue. The processor time itself hasn't really changed, right? The processor's not really working that hard. So this is kind of important to understand whatever device you have, whatever kind of server you have, appliance you have, you need to have visibility into these things. And as you can see, the traffic generation stopped. See, went down, it's come back up, but now it's back up to that 9,800, 8,800, kind of like where we were before. All right, let's do what techies do. We like to play around a little bit. I just want to extend this video just a few more seconds. So I'll run my AppPerf again, and this time I've changed my utilization to 1% just to see what difference that makes. So I'll do what I did last time. I'll start my iperf they're the numbers 800 and change i'm going to start my traffic generation proceed and whoops sorry wrong screen you can see it went from 818 to low 700s so even a one percent broadcast storm on my network with my equipment is quite the difference and again you can see the perfmon flatlining it up near the top 21,000 interrupts per second uh, in the real world, you'd find out how what your average packet size is. I chose 254 because that's usually the range I see, but whatever. 
Um, and you do this little exercise and you might be surprised. You know what's really interesting? Watching broadcasts fly through things like wireless access points and how they gum up. So this is always a good exercise to do and I encourage you to have some sort of traffic generator in your toolbox. Have a good day folks. Bye for now. Thank you.